and I'm Taylor Henderson. I'm an intern at the Art Museum and GA for First Year Studio. So this is a project that um, I've been working on with uh, Joseph Below, <coughs> professor in the School of Architecture. Yes, I'm standing in for Joe's place uh, right now. He had to leave. Basically, our or his studio class uh, worked on a collaborative project with Rebecca's choreography students, uh, working with uh, pieces of art from the uh, David Owsley Museum of Art. It was a collaboration where our students designed a dimensional um, space. Uh, it's equivalent to about 16 by 16 feet, so about the size of this stage you see before you, uh, translating the painting into a three-dimensional space. And uh, Rebecca, you, um, <coughs> our choreographers worked with the same paintings and the design ideas that the architecture students pulled from those paintings to create dances. And so we'll share with you uh, slides of the paintings, slides of the student work, and um, the dances that the choreographers have created. We have a number of the architects here tonight. Who, raise your hand if you created a model for this project. Um, there's uh, 12 pieces. Each one is just a minute or two, and between each piece, you're welcome to come in and out. And so don't feel, this the whole program's about a half an hour, but you don't need to stay the whole time. Just feel free to have a seat. You'll get a much better view of the dance if you have a seat, and you're just so welcome to leave whenever you need to go. <laughs> The dancers of this work 
thought a great deal about the diagonals that are central to the work, the hierarchy of the angel and the devil, as well as the idea of burning. This is Rachel Stewart and Lucy Smith. <coughs> and Rachel Stewart. Rachel, it's all right. <laughs>
Peace and Air Museum. We see a tumultuous environment, a storm in uh, the sky and on land, lots of heavy, strong winds, and we see a calf with one lone figure trying to escape from uh, the storm. The choreographers for this piece, Lacey Smith and Rachel Wysorek, were informed by the path that goes, um, sort of ascends from the bottom of the painting, and the idea of an angelic guide up to the sort of heaven above Storm King. Island uh, Niagara by William Morris Hunt. Uh, this is an environmental landscape where we see a relatively benign uh, landscape of trees with a very energetic, very powerful river just cutting through the work, um, running along and uh, just very effervescent and uh, fun to look at the end. Designed by Brandon Willis, who is right there. Um, spoke a lot with Brandon about the clear diagonal that runs through the painting. They also um, tried to think about the roaring of the rapids um, that began roaring at the bottom and then sort of decrescendoed and became calmer and calmer as they ascended <coughs> in the painting.
Um, the student choreographer, Rachel Weizurik, took on the task of uh, dancing alone this enormous painting. Um, and she worked closely with the architect, really um, tailoring her dance to follow the pathway of entrance um, and sort of uh, how a real body might move through this three-dimensional space.
recognize feminism in its own way. We see uh, Pete Hughes here depicted creating a very uh, diagonal composition in the painting, leaning out again in her cage, looking out of her window. We see light shining on her. Uh, she is depicted almost as an object similar to the apples in the foreground or the green mug in the background. Uh, designed by Ashley, who is also here. The student choreographer, Christy Bellich, um, really was informed by this of idea of reflection and sort of a back and forth and back and forth between the endless uh, reflections in the painting.
Krasner, the wife of Jason Pollock. What we see here is um, lots of vivid color, uh, exuberant line work, um, warm, cool, contrasting, very energetic, very representational bird sleeves, right? Uh, by Ariel Meese. This this scene choreographers on this piece, uh, Samantha Conti and Rachel Stewart, um, uh, were inspired by the wall text in the museum and the idea that it uh, said there was no image at all, but simply sort of motion in this painting. Um, they really tried to work with the idea that there's no stopping. Yeah, I think so. Were there any 
responses to our models? Since some of us are here. Yeah. Yeah. Are we are they getting together with us next week when we get together with Joe? I don't know that we have plans to do that. So if you all want to talk about that's the first Oh, you want to see the models in person? Yeah. Are they on display somewhere? Yeah, we were going to make them today, but considering it was raining outside, we decided against that. Yeah. So maybe actually, even now, what's happening? What are you guys doing between 10:45 and 12:15 tomorrow? Yeah, we have one. We have other studio classes. But we have lunch from 11:50 to 1. So you guys, they have lunch from 11:50 to 1.